Hello, all, and welcome. This is Dice of Ages presenting Cresfallen, The Baker's Dozen, episode 31, Sledge Dredge. Without further ado, let's get into the recap of the previous episode. As the temple around them begins to crack and crumble, the Baker's Dozen uses spellcraft to enhance their stealth and charisma and hasten towards the exit. The group runs into the Salt Marshal, convincing him to hand over kelp-like sacred documents to be saved from the collapsing sanctuary. The gang do their best to blend in with the fleeing crowds, rushing away from the explosive sounds and imploding city block. Heading west, a scoop gets separated from the party, beach ball style, but happens upon Blubgub mid-defenestration. They rally and eventually regroup with the rest of the party amid the mob due to a shout from Tamron. Platoons of sea elves, Kuatoa, and sea spawn attempt to control the panic and search for dissidents. With stealthy movements and acting of parental care for children, for sick children, the troop bypass a few platoons. However, just then, a large female half-elf, half-octopus creature clad in scant yet fearsome armor descends from above, surveying the masses. The band squeak by as the creature crushes a platoon leader for their incompetence. Arriving at Shoal's Wharf, the party passes through the Vale of the City and enter the water of the Caldera on their way to the Crabrave Cave. By chance, they are intercepted by a patrol, but are moved along after witnessing Tamron administer medicine to a sick seal. And hiding amongst the glowing mushroom forest, the gang send Blubglub ahead to the guard detachment stationed before the cave. He is able to convince them to wait for him elsewhere while he disarms traps in the cave. The whole band are able to slip through the portal, back into the material plane, exhausted and relieved. Attempts are made to try and dismantle the well wall, resulting in the keystone being dislodged and a pound of terezine flex stone being collected, leaving the hodgepodge well wall non-functional. The group set down to rest and awaken on the 32nd of Hylock, feeling stronger and wiser. Now let's get back to the action. Welcome back to Crest Valen. On that note, welcome back. <laughs> Talk about Dice of Ages, Baker's Dozen. Um, this is Ramsey, and he's got a little hoodie. He's a good boy. Um, great. Cool. He tolerates a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like uh, wisdom teeth getting pulled are wild, man. Um, I think there are some places that actually require you, like someone has to come with you, and they have to sign in. Yeah, that's, that's my Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. So, cause like we're, we're we're not letting there's we're not taking any chances of you driving yourself home. Not my mom's it. like, oh, I can't carry you, so my dad has to go, <laughs> just in case you know I all over the place on the floor. They blah, put blah. you in a wheelchair. I don't think. No, they didn't. I just stood right up and just oh. walked out. They put me in a wheelchair. <laughs> I could I could walk fine, yeah. but they put me in a wheelchair. Pardon me. Yeah, it's, 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 it's and I was like, you couldn't walk yeah, okay. fine. You could not. I well, not I beginning? saw you. Uh, no, you could not. Maybe. Trust me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, got, I, guess, I think I thought I could, but I was yeah, just like, ooh, a wheelchair, comfy. I get to continue to nap. And so I just sat in the wheelchair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was It was fun. I'm trying to find You uh, were concerned about leaving your hat behind, but we didn't bring <laughs> a hat. There was no yeah, hat. I was like, can you grab my hat? <laughs> the sun is not like in my eyes. Oh, yeah. um, Oh, you've got that witching hour going on with, like, yeah, lighting. All right, cool. So, as we get back to it, you guys wake up on the 32nd of High Lock. We've been on the same day. It's it's very on par for Baker's Dozen to be on the same day for, like, five months of game time. Um, uh, in real life. Uh, yeah, five months of real life time. Um, but guys, we were, <laughs> we're on to a new day. And a new day has certainly dawned Yay. as you guys are all level eight. And no exhaustion. And no exhaustion. Right. All your points of exhaustion. So Having gone. succeeded, I think we need to pop some champagne, yo. <laughs> I know. You guys like, got rid of two elder idols. You're level eight. Yeah. I don't know about you all, but I slept great last night. Like super, super great. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should have an anime beach day today. Yeah. Get Captain Avery to come on shore. Micheni at that moment the casts Druidcraft to see if the weather's going to be nice and realizes it's 11 a.m. and that Avery comes in an hour. <laughs> uh, 
we can still do anime beach day once we get get in there and once we get this uh keystone maybe back to the ship or something don't forget your mage armor oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he goes over to the Thank corner you. and sneezes, and that's how he casts Mage Armor. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's great. Every time I cast Mage Armor, I just sneeze. And then sometimes when he sneezes, like, wild magic comes out. And, uh, that's so funny. Things happen. Go ahead, roll that wild magic. Um, let me see what my number's at. I don't know yet. Oh, I have to reset everything. Um, wild magic is four, so I'm probably going to roll a three. Oh, what I you got? What you got there, spells. Angel? Sour candies. Mm. Pumpkin. Sour mm. Are now, those the ones that you tossed into Sean's eye earlier? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts so bad. <laughs> deadly candy. <laughs> <laughs> deadly projectiles. Delicious projectiles. Yes. <laughs> Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Okay, you sneeze and your mage armor shimmers and you you come back. Everything's good, guys. Um, cool, great. Oh, man, I really want candy now. Damn it. Oh, it's October. Candy. Uh, okay, anyway. Um, great, so the day is yours. You have this big chunk of keystone, uh, like well wall keystone, sitting here in front of you. Um, Spoosh. In the water. You got to pull it out. Um, I'm going to just try to get it to the top of the cenote. I'll use mage hand to make it a little lighter. Uh, okay. Um, here's the deal. This thing weighs hundreds of pounds. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I um, can build it's like a, a it's little It's a keystone. Sled. Like it is a full keystone. We're yeah. talking like two foot wide. But like it's like a two foot by two foot like solid heavy ore. Like it is large. Um, so I can't even like move it um, yeah you were lucky working with Machini to rock it out of place before it went skadoosh into the, into the yeah, water yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe we sledge it um, yeah um, okay. the, the, the problem is that down here in the cenote there is no like it's rock because the water has gotten rid of all the silt and, and yeah. like, you know, loose earth in the mm. so. No, we're saying like tie ropes to it and try to everybody kind of grab a hold. Yeah. And, and go get oh, some. Oh, and try to some pull it, bring it up a spiral. Post. Yeah. Go get, yeah. go get some limbs to help like rollers and stuff. If okay. Needed. Okay, cool. Um, you want to you want to build a sled, a sledge for this thing. You, you, you can do that. Um, and that's going to take time. Avery's going to be here in an hour. Well, he's not Maybe. just gonna be like, "Oh, they're not here," and then leave immediately, right? I mean, there's isn't that what you I'm told sure him to do? Wiggle room. <laughs> Did we? You told him to be like, "Hey, if we're not back, go." Oh, yeah. I mean, we don't have a we don't have a lot to do today. Should we just send to him? Either yeah, that, fine. or what? Or we just split the party and have a couple people go meet him, and the others keep working. It's on dangerous. Him. Remember what's in the like water? Evil, I don't like his evil fingers. <laughs> do, you, do you not remember what's in the water? I mean, that well, takes like, us to this island. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, but did we get rid of those? Whatever. No, there was a bunch don't... of them. We just came across a few. Yeah, but I'm wondering if they were, like, corrupted and are no longer corrupted. I mean, because of what we did. We oh, saw a speed, it's the sea spawn on the way here. To this... That's what I'm saying, but maybe they're not sp spawning. Maybe they're just dead bodies now because we've well, destroyed the tether. Also, is the weather nice right now? Because that might that be indica sense. indicative. Uh, the weather's pretty of... temperate. Um, the weather, it's not raining. Not raining. So if it's not raining, that's probably a good sign too, right? Because that was it was like a spooky. Oh uh, yeah. Always foggy and rainy here. Yeah. Yeah. There so, can't be anything spooky in the water if it's not spooky in the air, and that's exactly. Fact. <laughs> How can they be there? They don't have the right ambiance, right? What do you think, Nakano? Do you want to go right away or carry yeah. this rock? Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make a dent on moving that. Hmm. Can we? What if we all like work together just to lift and? Can we all lift it? Is that even possible? I mean, um, uh, it's like if you try to all get your hands around it. Um, uh, why doesn't everybody roll a strength check for me? That means we have to like move at the same time. Can, 
known each other for a while. We're probably good at dancing. Hurts awake. She's like, I can help. And she like gets tries to get under it as you guys lift it to be like uh, a little table for it. What kind is it strength? St- strength. Straight, straight strength, not athletics, just straight strength. Strength plus, oh. so your strength modifier plus whatever you rolled. Six. I'll make these. I'll make it too easy on us. Eight. We, uh... I also have the mage hand to make it ten pounds lighter. Nice. <laughs> I love that True. mage hand. If I could, I wish I could. Like, can I make all my cantrips mage hands and then just have like ten of them out at the same time? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna no, do because mage hand is concentration. Uh, I'm yeah. going to do Enhance Ability, level 4, on everyone, with full strength. Or the Kano So, main... Enhance Ability is a second level spell. We actually messed this up last time. Enhance Ability is a second level spell. Whenever you upcast it, you can only add one extra person. So, if you cast it at third level, you only get two people. If you cast it at fourth level, you only get three people. But it's okay, because I didn't end up using it. She didn't end up using that. it last time anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So if you cast it at fourth level, you can cast it on three people. Okay. I guess me. Who, who else is carrying it? Cameron and we're all carrying we're it. All gonna... Maybe hurt. Hurt is I... on the it bottom. Was... She, I just rolled for her. She got a uh, a seventeen to try to push up. Okay. I got a six. So. Oof. Oh no! I I got an eight. But your enha- mm-hmm. enhancing ability on what yeah. three people? Uh, Tamarin, me, and. I guess Nakano, yeah. Okay, so Tamara gets a roll advantage, and Nakano gets a roll advantage, and Asuka gets a roll advantage. Sean, I can hear that. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I just I fiddle with things. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear. I rolled. T- I rolled another four. Oh. <laughs> so still six. <laughs> oh my god. Was, was this a strength or? It's just straight strength. strength. Sh- yeah. What'd you get, Nakano? Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, much better. So you and her. <laughs> What'd you get a scoop? 19. 19. And Machete? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Okay. Um, here's the deal. You guys do lift it for a moment, and Hurt does get under it and lifts it, and you guys hold it for a moment. And then Tamron slips, and Machete slips, and Hurt's like, oh, oh no, no! And, and she starts to get crushed by this thing. Um, as push, push it away from her and just push it. Okay, cool. Um, so it doesn't fall on her. She does take... Um, a 12 points of bludgeoning damage as it like almost crushes her arm. Um, Jesus and, Christ. And you do, uh, are, are able, and she roll, and she does roll deck, a good dex check so she's able to like kind of dive out from under it. Um, but... Um, uh, Wait, that, was, that was half because this is a like hundreds of pounds things like fully <laughs> on top. it's the dog jesus christ sorry hurt was that considered everyone for helping or i oh, know everybody was rolling their own strength check uh okay. the, the ones that got advantage are the ones that were enhanced and they still didn't do that great um but yeah so um you guys were able to lift it for a mo- for a moment um, but then it unfortunately uh, slipped and uh, her almost got crushed. Um, this thing is heavy. Maybe we just leave the rock. Do you, let's move it somewhere not like right next to if we can, right? Or like try to hide it or something. What do you think? I guess whoever... uh, I feel like whoever built this would just find it immediately and maybe we'll delay them 10 minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. We need to do something with it. Um, let's see. Do you have things that can hold things? Would it fit in the book? <laughs> I think it would. What does the book say? Yeah. Uh, what does the book say? There's no idols in it, so we wouldn't have weird... It eating it or doing something weird, too. So. So is the information on the book in the... It, it is in Excel the, sheet. Uh, it's, I, I don't know if it's in the Excel sheet. I don't curate the Excel sheet, but it is in the uh, Dice of Ages hub um, under the magic items. It, and there's a picture of it, and there and there's a description of it. So, so, 
Oh, did we up? We didn't update the amount of pages. Do, did anybody write down how many pages we lost and how many pages we have now? Yes, let me take that up. Thank you, Notekeeper Noel. Yes. <laughs> we used to have 47 pages, but it's been 25 pages I've been taken from it. So we're now at 22. 22 pages. We don't have anything in it yet. <laughs> they're going wild. Yeah, they're playing <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> Good dogs. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, you guys have 22 pages left. So in the Dice of Ages hub, uh, if you scroll down, yeah, you'll see magic, magic items. items. It should be, and then in there it is. Yeah, uh, the the uh, Book of Dragons Horde. I believe no more than 25 pounds. Uh, a collection of items, no more than 25 pounds, or a single item. An object weighing no more than 25 pounds. Oof. So here's the deal. I will allow you to um, use... A page can hold up to five objects in it. Yeah, as long as their collective weight is no more than 25 pounds. Um, here's the deal. I will allow you to do something. If you want to sorcerer meta magic this thing and try to like change the arcane properties and try to mess some stuff up i will allow you to try to like fuse pages together like glue some pages together however means you want to glue Whoa. yes cameron shut up uh and make some pages some sticky and like glue them together with like magic and try to combine the weight that each of them would do it but it's gonna the total is gonna have to add up for 25 pounds per one for the total weight of this object Makes sense. is there a, a risk of me wasting pages uh you won't know until you find out won't know until I you won't try. know until I know. Yeah. Until they want to, to find out. What do you guys think? What's more valuable? The risk of wasting pages or this rock? Uh I think it's probably risky to do that, right? For a one time thing we versus you know. Yeah. We could probably use this in the future. But what hmm. So each page can technically hold 125 pounds, right? But I guess it's just... No, 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 no. The, it, it specifically says as long as the collective weight of those five objects oh, it does. does not yeah. exceed 25 pounds. Each page has a limit of 25 pounds. If you want to try to glue pages together via some magic sorcerer meta magic stuff because you like to um, like t bend the rules when it comes to magic, that's what a sorcerer does, um, uh, you can try to... Put them, glue them, glue, mat, make some magic glue, and uh, see and see what can happen. I'm worried because I just don't really know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's Sean talking or Tamron talking. No, it's well, it's my arcana is really low, and I feel like that's probably an arcana roll. Mm. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm still down for just trying to. <laughs> Sorry. Just trying to muscle. Just kick it. him out of the room. Just muscle. kick him out of the room. I don't want to. They're, they're having so much fun. Um, <laughs> We're gonna kill her though. <laughs> no, 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 no. What if we get it on the sledge again? So just okay. do a very quick sledge, and then we're all, all. You know, you guys are super beefy looking right now, anyway. So maybe, maybe with that, it helps. I do look a little beefy. No, no. Mm. Is it uh, the ten minutes being? I pump me up. <laughs> oh, me up. Uh, Scoop's like, okay, I did that for you, but whatever. <laughs> Was it like bear strength or something like that? Is what it's called? Bull's strength. Bull's strength. Um, all right, what's the plan, guys? Because time's ticking away. To, let's try to muscle it. And if it's taking too long, we just send uh, Avery. Yeah, get the get the sledge. All right, get so you guys are just sledge. all trying to lift it with your hands right now? No, we're no. trying to make a sledge. Yeah. Right, so so you want to try to build a sledge now, and I'll let you know how long that's going to take is pretty much what's happening, right? 
Yeah, and then that's there. No, or Mishani, you're just suggesting we get logs and just roll it on logs. Yeah, exactly. And then you can. Just is that what a of... sledge is? That's one way to do a sledge. A sledge is like so. You know when somebody gets injured in in the wilderness and you make uh like uh... wrap a bunch of stuff together and so they can lay on it and you can drag them. That's a sledge. Yeah, but we can still just do the log thing. That might be easier to given the time. So if we get just a couple uh, logs, so here's like the deal. Three logs. You have to get it up the cenote before you can do that deal. So you have no, to go. No, we take this. We take the logs down. I, I know, I know, I know. Wanna... I know, I know, I know. I'm saying you have to get the the keystone all the way up the slope of the cenote through rock using the sledge before you can do the mold earth slide thing. Um, granted, the mold earth slide thing is still going to be difficult because this is a jungle and there's a lot of roots and all this other stuff. You can do it. It'll work. And it's just going to take some time because you're going to, you can't just do a straight shot. You'll have to like weave and bob throughout trees and that whole deal. Make sense? Um, cause there's a lot of undergrowth. Um, so it's possible. It's a cool idea. I love it. You just kind of like make a wave of earth and have, and keep rolling it. Um, I want a spell now called earth wave. Uh, if you want to make a spell like that, I'd be happy to work with you to make a spell like that. Uh, 100 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Well, see, that's why I'd be working with you. <laughs> <laughs> no saving throw. No saving <laughs> you, you die, I win the game. <laughs> um, uh, great. So, yes, you guys are going to build a slate. So you guys have to go up to the cenote in order to grab the lumber to bring it back down to build it and stuff like that. So here, I'm gonna have the the ranger create a, a roll a survival check. Uh, who else is going up? I'm guessing- I'll, I'll go up too. Tamron, you have to go. Um, Nakano, I'm guessing you too, since you're really good at climbing and dealing with I trees think, and stuff yeah, like that. Okay, cool. So why don't all three of you guys roll survival checks and this will be for your harvesting of materials. Well, a scoop, you and Hurt stay and Blub Glub stay down here um, to keep um, tabs and everything to make sure everything's okay and that whole deal. Okay. Oh. Oh, goes like, oh, I don't have to yeah. shake my head anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, Blub goes like, I've never heard of a sledge before. Is that some type of young person slang? Honestly, it's the first time I'm hearing about it too, so I guess it is. There's got to be a way to do uh, Blub Glub. I'm throwing him at the next monster week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, what'd you get, Tam, for your survival? Six. Oh my god. Uh, Nakano, what'd you get? Eleven. Eleven. And um, uh, Machene, what'd you get? Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> wow, Twikes. what a great round. It's great. There's no trees yeah. anywhere. Oh. That's, see, that's the problem. My yeah. my mentor only taught me like desert, not not. What do you do in the jungle? Like, well, what that's the, a good what point. Is this? Yeah. <laughs> um, great. Maybe so so can, so so you. Here's the deal. You guys still I'm accomplish. Too busy looking at my guns. You guys still accomplish the. <laughs> you guys still accomplish the <laughs> the activity you guys were trying to do. The goal, like you still gather the materials and chop down a couple trees and grab a couple twigs and everything and try to like create rope. It just takes a lot longer than you think it's going to take and then you thought it was going to take. So a scoop, forty five minutes, then fifty minutes have gone by and you realize like oh shit, Avery's about to arrive and we are nowhere near being ready for him. Um, we're gonna miss the boat. And there's no sign of those three. It's been almost an hour. All right, just give me a minute. Sure. Just uh, they can continue what they're doing. I'll, hurts I'll like take a they've been gone a, a while. Are they okay? Should we go check on them and and maybe they're dead? Or uh, we're gonna? Or, oh wait, my boat! We're gonna miss my boat! I'm assuming every you all, you all just hear like like Monty Python like sawing sounds, you know, like when they're doing like the Trojan <laughs> <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> yes, echoing throughout the jungle in the cenote, <laughs> down into the cenote. Oh yeah, I'll just cast sending to Captain Avery, just okay. saying we're going to be running a little bit late, probably two, give it two hours. If you're at the location. Okay, he's like, 
Hi, lad. We're just uh, pulling up to see, have a visual of the island now. Uh, we'll give you a little more time. Is every... And then it gets cut off. Okay. <laughs> um, great. So uh, about three hours go by uh, and you guys finally come down with a sledge that has been made. Um, it's okay. You know, it's, uh, it's a piece of wood bound together with some fibers and, uh, hopefully it holds together. Um, you eventually... We have ropes, right? Yeah, yeah. You can do... With, yeah, yeah, you can bind it with rope. It just, you know, it's like, you know, it's what you could make with what you had. Um, and, um, yeah, you can use rope. Um, uh, so the... You eventually uh, are able to roll this thing on top of the sledge. Uh, can everybody... Who is... Wants to... Because I believe there's only... only You can... Like, only... <laughs> I'd say a maximum amount of like three people can can push this rope because that's how wide the ramp is up there. So I'd say a maximum amount of three people can draw this sledge. Um, so who, well, some people can push, right? Uh, if you, I suppose, yeah. So why doesn't everybody roll an athletics check for me? Um, enhance and ability. Ten is, pounds of. Go on. <laughs> yes, yes, as always. <laughs> I, I, Everything in this I entire do want to world mention, is 10 pound lighter. I do want to mention, it lighter. does require a semantic component to cast the spell. And in my mind, it feels like you're always like using your hand in order to like manipulate the, the mage hand in oh, order to that, like move it that around. That's like the canonical accept, like, you know, accepted term of it. But the fact that you're always using your hands while just mentally telling mage hand to me is always like, Oh, whatever. I'm not going to fucking deal with this. <laughs> like, I didn't realize I had to use my hands. That makes sense, though. Yeah, because you're, like, manipulating it with your somatic component. But um, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't really care. Um, so everybody, please roll a strength check for me. Uh, enhance ability has long since... Uh, it's long yep. since gone because it's been longer than ever. So it's just straight strength checks for all use. Two. And I'll roll for hurt and blub glub. But also, have you ever actually altered, like, the the... The numbers because of the ten pounds of thrust. Like, is that? Have um, you ever there have done been, anything because of that? There have been times. <laughs> there have been times when uh, it has to do with things that are like floating. That ten pounds of thrust would do something. Um, um, there have been lighter things. Something like this, I doubt it. <laughs> uh, but there, there have been a handful of times where it has happened. But I also love the running gag too. So don't stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, that a Yoshi sound? I just heard? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Cam and I have a friend named Yoshi, and that's his text message sound effect. Uh. Um. Okay. <laughs> What's that? That was a lot watching TikTok while we were on break. <laughs> um, so, uh, um, Blub Glub is no help at all. He just keeps like. He's so slippery, his hands just keeps slopping and flopping off of the sledge, and he's like, he doesn't really understand the. He gets the concept, kind of, but he's just like, he, just, he can't really help at all. He's trying, and he just. And Hurt just eventually just pushes him out of the way. He goes, like, get. I'm the short person in this in this group. Like, get out of the way. And she pushes. She gets a little better. She's got like a. Um, she rages. She goes, she goes, like, ah! And she rages as she pushes, um, but she can only do that for like a second. Um, for like six seconds, but um, she does like get a 17 um, for that. Uh, Machene, what'd you get? Eight. Uh, Scoop? Three. Oof. Nakano? 16. 16. Tamron? 18. 18. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So here's the deal. We're not all crushed by the boulder. <laughs> So here's the deal. You guys do slow. Oh, wait, we had advantage, right? No. no. It took no. three hours ago. Oh, that was, that was uh. three hours ago. Um, it was only one hour ago because it only took us one hour and, and like, or 50 minutes, you said. No, it said, I said three hours later, you guys come down with the sledge. I thought you just said one. I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. I said 50 minutes. After 50 minutes, a scoop's like, shit, we're going to miss it. And he sends a sending and said, hey, we're going to be a couple hours late. And then I said, okay, after three total hours, you guys come back because it took that that long because um, jungle thicket is thick. 
and <laughs> and yeah um it's thick double c thick thick um so you guys um you so here's the deal Given enough time, eventually you are going to get this thing up there because all of you working together are going to get it up there. It just, again, takes another two hours for you to get this thing up the cenote. You're now you're now four hours late for your meeting. Um, but you did tell Avery to wait, so hopefully he's still waiting. Um, it is like it's – oh, God. It is 4 p.m. now <laughs> already. Um you got finally do get this thing up to the top. You guys are all exhausted. How are we going to get this into the boat? I mean, if you can get it into a dinghy, it maybe it'll float. Should float. Dinghy takes like we have the wind. We have the winch people. thing too, right? Oh, you do have the the diving bell. Yeah. Yeah, winch thing. Yeah. Um. Uh, okay, so now that you're here, Tamron cracks his knuckles and he's like, okay. And you start mold or mold earthing it. Um, do me a favor, just roll an arcana check for me. Six. My God. Uh, so you're like, you, you mold earth and eventually you just like throw a bunch of dirt over it. And you're like, wait, wait, hold on. Let me try that again. <laughs> and, and, and then you... And then you bury it, and you're like, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> and, then you, and you pull it up, but then you, like, roll it backwards, and it almost falls back down the cenote, and, like, you're like, whoa, 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 And a bunch of you, like, lay in front of it and, like, try to push back in front of it. And you're like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got this, i got this. It takes you a bit to get used to, like, manipulating the spell to, like, make, like, an earth wave to push it forward. But eventually, after another 20 minutes of trying, you figured out it's taking you guys so long. <laughs> <laughs> How far away from the shore are we, too? You guys are a good hour hike away from the shore. <laughs> just without the thing? Just on our own? Yeah, just yeah. moving at a regular pace. Um, so Maybe we just bury it here. So here's what I'm going to say. Eventually, after another... Two hours and twenty minutes, you make it to the shore with oh, okay, this thing, okay. with this thing. Um, uh, and Tamron, I will say, after all this, Tamron, you are exhausted from ca from doing this and manipulating the spell. I will say, even with an Arcana six, I will say you probably think there's some sort of potential for you to be able to manipulate um, the Earth in a way uh, that is new perhaps a spell that has not been made yet if you want to make a custom spell again so if you want to work with me out out of the game and to make a custom like earth wave spell um be happy to do that and then we'll, you can like practice on it and roll a couple like checks and if you succeed on a couple checks then you get to have your own custom spell that you've come up with some archaeology cool. earth wave stuff i like that um just like you have that bone storm thing but that's just reflavored um, yeah, <laughs> we're talking about like whole new mechanics. I just call it Bone Storm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bone Storm sounds like vaguely kinky, and I'm just not sure how I feel about it. Um, no, man, it's literally a storm of bones. Uh, no, I was like, you know how you feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, great. So you eventually make it to the shore. You see the ship. The ship is fully on its way le to leave uh, uh, because it's like, oh shit. It's Bruh. almost like it's evening. The sun is set. Like you said, so? give them a couple extra hours. And like the, the ship is like, shit, they could be dead. And they told us to leave. And like Avery had to make uh, a judgment call at this point. Um, uh, it, it, but it looks like they're starting to bat to like pull down the sails and start moving. But then you get spotted and then they stop. Um, Phew. Um, but yeah, um, the... Uh, did you did you did you bring a dinghy to the shore and leave it here, or did some? Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. right, let me see if it's still here. It's like actually all the way on the shore because we were. <laughs> yeah, we were going a hundred. Oh yeah, now. didn't you hide it in the brush? No, no we wait, it just went so fast. fast. <laughs> oh right, right, right. You went into the into the forest with it, so it, it is technically in the woods. Um, yeah, it's still here. It's in the woods though. Okay. Uh, you drag it out, put it in the water. Um, you got to lift this thing if you want to put it in the dinghy. Strength right, checks, guys. everybody. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. It's not exactly beach volleyball, but... Uh... 
Twenty-one. Rawr! There you go. Fourteen. Better. No scoop. Tell me what you got. Eleven. Eleven. Better. This is strength, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Oh no! Did you get a nat one? I don't have. Um... Oh, you have zero, so you just got a two. Oh. <laughs> yeah, for a twenty. So Nakano just says, "No, I'm not doing this," and she just doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> she's like no i'm done i'm i'm not like look at this look at this this isn't i'm not helping no uh blub glub and her will <laughs> a natural one for blub glub, oh my God. Blub -glub sees what nakano is doing is be like yeah i'm not helping either i'm boycotting this this is horrible you saved your life <laughs> he totally oh, is, no. must uh see monkey do monkey kind of thing um, you simultaneously endangered your life and saved your life. Where's the gratitude? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, she doesn't have to do it. Well, she doesn't have, sorry. Well, she doesn't have to do it. And Hurt's just like, shut up! And she just like, Rah! and gets a 15 and lifts with you guys. You guys eventually do get into the dinghy. You hear like a, <clears throat> as it, it hits the bottom of the dinghy. Um, uh, you guys <clears throat> eventually shove the dinghy out into the water. Um, and then you got all in the dinghy, and the dinghy's so deep in the water that the wa the difference between the edge of the dinghy and the water level is like two inches. It's so oh, deep God. in the water. So if it t if there's like a big wave, it hits, you're gonna get some water in this dinghy. So you <laughs> and this thing is gonna sink. So is there a bucket in the dinghy? Um, I don't think there is. No, but there's okay. oars. Um. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. It's, who wants to, to roll a lock check for for to see how well you guys uh, row this thing nice and steadily? I'm not I gonna can, be responsible for this. I can try <laughs> <laughs> to help. I can get out of the boat. Who's the most seethe worthy individual? Women. Hurt, maybe. Hurt probably is. Yes, she's the captain. No, actually, Nakano. Nakano. Right, Nakano has. Does a it help if I just swim along? If I just hold on to the side of the boat and just kind of swim along the side, is that how? Uh, yeah, that'll take weight uh, off the boat. Yeah, I think people want to get out and push. I think we got rid of all the monsters. I think we're good. Well, I'm gonna cast a spell as soon as we get in there. So. Oh, that's good. Maybe we can. You, somebody can tell if there's well, monsters around. It's not, I'm just gonna What's... redirect the flow of the water and just make us go a lot faster. Oh. oh okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, and if anybody wants to get out and swim, that'll take a lot of weight off the boat. I'll do um, that. Okay. Yeah. You can do it too. <laughs> after after we get past the little spot where we thought they were. Yes, uh yeah, sure. Day. Sure, sure, sure. Um, um absolutely. Uh you cast redirect flow. Um you push so so here's the thing. With redirect flow, you push the boat rather quickly past that like you know wavy shoreline bit where the where the waves start to happen and like and crest mm -hmm. uh so you push beyond okay. that point and then the two of you jump out and push bringing the water level much lower um because that's another like less 200 200 ish pounds um uh yeah you guys with those with that spell and that that much effort you guys make it back to the Pambringer. you guys are home <sighs> you guys Whee! Climb upon the Pambringer to your to your home on the seas. Um, uh, the 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 stone is still in the dinghy. Uh, uh, yeah, and the kind of was like, yeah, yeah stretch. Yeah, did a lot of work. <laughs> uh, just like, <laughs> I was like, oh man, it was exhausting watching you guys work. Oh man, I'm so tired. <laughs> hey, crew, can you can you take care of this big old stone? Thanks. Yeah, uh, Hurt goes, like, <laughs> Kurt goes, Captain on deck! And they're all like, you know, <laughs> like, like, refit the winch, get out the diving bell, we're gonna pull that thing up with the winch! <laughs> and and uh, they, they start to, like, uh, uh, the crew, now that you have, like, a full complement, gets to it, uh, um, does pretty well. And uh, they, you know, tie it right and you guys are able to get this keystone on board on deck. So you have a piece of the well wall uh, from the Bagaket Archipelago. If you and somebody wants to write that down somewhere um, in their thing. Uh, keystone from a hodgepodge well wall 
uh, from the Bagaket Archipelago, which was a oh. portal to the water plan, something like that. So if anybody wants to write that down. So you guys oh. have that aboard okay. or put that in the inventory somewhere. I would suggest probably putting it in the Excel spreadsheet um, just so that you know. Because it's, it's, it's part of the party. It's on going to be on the ship for until you decide to get rid of it. Um, uh, r rendering that portal ineffective and non-functional until that is replaced. You fully get rid of uh, a portal. Um, Captain Avery's like, Welcome back! It's good to see you alive! I had me worries there. We feared the worst. We we, I, we knew you were going to... Uh, we heard from uh, 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 your tall friend individual uh, 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 scoop that you were going to be late, but uh, after, well, about eight hours, we thought that maybe... Well, you didn't. You told us not to wait too long, but then you told us to wait, and we weren't sure which thing to listen to, so we just, uh... Well, we're, we're, anyway, we're glad you're here. So you were going to abandon us, yeah, yeah. Well, we, you told us not to put uh, it the ship... At... Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, you're here, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Uh, welcome back. And Hurt just kind of like kicks him in the chin and goes like, I'm the captain, and I'll welcome us back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm back, Captain Hurt Thorne, and I'm ready to sail the... How many seas are there? I don't want to count that. There's a lot of seas, and I'm ready to sail all of them. Are you ready? Here, here! I said here, here! Here, here. here. Uh, wonderful. Oh, great. Uh, I'm going to go take a nap. That was Captain Avery's arm. Oh. oh. Yeah. Uh, Captain Avery no longer has an arm. Uh, so I'm uh, curious. So, so wait, so it's here, let me let me be specific here. It no longer has an arm made of tentacles. It looks like a very like gaunt, almost skeletal, like skin is stretched over it. Very weak arm with like very little muscle, but it is it looks like a human arm. And it has oh, he's a human it, arm. It has like replaced the like the uh, the mass of tentacles that had created an arm there before. It looks very malnourished. Uh, it looks in bad shape, and it looks like he can't really lift it too much, and he's just gonna have to like work it out. It's almost like uh, like he like he's got a it's a very atrophied. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Scoop. With the vile blood or fetish blood or whatever, the does that Ooh, affect? Oh, like the uh, the creature that came from the idol. You have that blood. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Would that do anything? I mean, well, I'm not. I'm not trying to expose it to anyone or right? like any anything. I'm just saying, with it being in that kind of area, would it give it give off that aura? Is it? Was it one way to I mean, find out? No, no. You're just saying, are okay, there any changes I, of like if you hold the vial near somebody or something? I'm just saying, like, without even taking it out. I mean, this is what you see is his atrophied human okay. arm. And what you notice in the vial is a strand of Agatilla's hair. Like, that's what you notice. Okay. <laughs> I was just trying to bring it back to light. Just in case it forgot, yeah. and it was going to affect um, anything. Are you uh, are you trying to drip some of that blood on oh, either no, of no, those no, things? No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, welcome home. You're back. Hey, nice hey. arm there, Avery. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it nice, but it's an arm. I mean, some arm is better than none arm. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really work like at all. But I, I think I just have to, to, to I think I have to bulk a little bit, and then uh, yeah, I have to get some protein powder. Put the protein start shakes, some, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some, I'll get some bars when we get back into shore, and then we'll we'll go make some smoothies. And if we, if we get any more pineapple, I love mixing it with the pineapple. It's so, so much better. I get that like maybe some fiber too. I'll, I'll get some vitamin C supplements, and I make sure some I kale powder. K kale powder mm -hmm. would be wonderful. You know, I miss my bulking days. Yeah. I mean, seaweed no. powder is pretty this, good for you. This too. is calorie deficit, and now I have to bulk. So, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So while we were down there, when when I spoke to the undead, the guy spoke to my head, spoke in my head, and said a yacht's Galati was the one that created 
either him or mo all of the idols. <laughs> I love the way you pronounced it. <laughs> Yatskaladi? It's a uh, Yitzglottal, but it's oh Yitzglottal. Yitzglottal, yeah. Dude, at least I didn't, didn't say. Like, yeah, I, it was pretty close. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty close. It was a, it was a good stab. Um, Yitz glottal. Yitz glottal. Two syllables. Yitz glottal. Um. Uh, so, who do you say this to? Just to the party. So, a scoop says that some. Uh, yeah, the idol, the idol that we I spoke to while running out of the building, it spoke to me and said, "The one that created the idol was Yitz Glottal." Did I get that right? And like, and that it was made from yeah, Yitz Glottal, and it was made. And it was from made from like madness. madness. Yeah, because Scoop cast kind of speak the dead with the creature as it was like fading out of existence. Because the only reason I'm saying this is because they, he spoke telepathically to me. Oh, okay. No, thank you for sharing that. That's really... It's glad. Okay. So maybe we can keep an eye out next time we go to some libraries or something. And see yes. If... Uh, it's glad the false wave, if you remember correctly. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... What do you guys want to do? Just head back? Or go to the other poops? I mean, we could head to the other poops, right? I mean, we're out and about. We're closer now than we were before, right? Sort of. I mean, our, how, I mean, they're, they're all pretty spread out. One of them is in the Soval Atoll. Weren't we there before? I think so. We were close by. That's uh, Atoll, right? Mm-hmm. No, that's the one that's um, west of Shylong. Um, right, my map is right behind me, actually. Um, <laughs> then the other one is pretty far. So we have one that's west, and we have one that's pretty far you south. You have one that's, I believe, if I'm not, like, if I'm not mistaken, there's one uh, near Shrusha Haven. And there's one yeah. near the Soval Atoll. The Shusha Haven yeah. is uh, like the south, off the southwestern coast of the Southern Dynasty. And the Soval Atoll is almost directly west of Shylong. Do you want to hit Shylong, then go to, to replenish our stuff? And just then go how, to the... Yeah, just see how it's doing over there. And... Yeah. Okay. Stock up. Uh, so what's our hitting? And then it, he gets smacked, uh, smacked in the back of the knee by um, the, his hurt. one and only knee by hurt. Because like, I <laughs> asked that question. So what's our heading? Why don't you guys? You should learn to work together instead of I mean, fighting I'm each other trying. all the time. I just you know, it's just my instincts. I've just been doing this for a long time, so I'm just. I'm talking ask. really mostly to hurt, Avery. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just kind of steps back. He's like. We are working together. You guys together. should put your I'm the heads captain. together like Danny LaRusso and, and Johnny Lawrence. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Watching a lot of Cobra Kai lately. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hertz is like who? I, we are working together. I'm the captain, and he does what I tell him to do. That's a that's a that's not working cooperative together. relationship. No, no, it's not. This is not no. a democracy. That's kind of yes, it though. is. Yeah. Oh, right. We did talk about that, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe like you know, take this turns. Like I'm sorry. The other day, I just I'm a very. Type A aggressive, so <laughs> I just have to be in charge. I like to be in charge. I like right. to wear the hat. Charge, the hat's fun. <laughs> you don't have to give up the hats, though. That's yeah. important. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I, you guys can. I like to say the things, though. It, it makes me feel good. I like to say the things. I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say the things. I just, you know. 
kind of again instinctual thing. So um, I'll try to deprogram. Will you accept input from Captain Avery and everybody else if you're just allowed to say the things? I, I guess, but only if yes. they're constructive. Of course. <laughs> I'm not dealing with. I'm not get. This won't be a mutiny. I'll quash it. I'll quash it. It's not a mutiny. No, it's Moby's mute, mute, mutiny. Mutineers get the stabby stab. I'll stab you with your own rib. Jesus, dude. Sorry. See, this is what I mean. I'm just very. <laughs> I just get into right. it. You are a goblin. You're a monster. I understand. Wait, that's yeah. racist. Oh, <laughs> the hell, man. I'm no. I'm a barbarian. I'm. I'm aggressive. I've. I've got. I've got PTSD. I've got issues. <laughs> my parents abandoned me. Okay? <laughs> yeah. oh this God. is a therapy right. session. I don't want to do this right now. I deal with it through <laughs> anger. Why is this happening? Why am I talking about my feelings? My only output is rage. Why do I keep saying these good. things? <laughs> Work through it. This is healthy. Yes. <laughs> what is this? Why am I leaking? No, please. It's okay. Let it out. Rage. <laughs> 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 Why is my face leaking? It's okay. Here, I tried to give her a hug. Why? Why is this squeeze feels? Why does this squeeze feel good? I can't move yet. I feel comfortable. I don't understand. <laughs> hug. It's you know. Uh, hug. Hug. Weird. Hug. I feel trapped yet. I back off. I back off. No, wait, don't stop. <laughs> Come back group up. hug. Group hug. Group hug. Everybody, group hug. Everybody, Everybody group hug. I hate this hey and guys. love this at the same time. We made it to another plane and came back again. This, uh... Yeah. <laughs> we did it. We put it alive. Who yeah. got the dog? Not the first time for you, Machete. Yeah. <laughs> Below. <laughs> it's always dog time. But Breakers doesn't has we we have, have a habit of showing our dogs on our. <laughs> 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 well, I was like, why? I don't. This isn't. I don't want to be part of this. <laughs> she always looks like that. To be fair, it does look like yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, why? I didn't choose to live. <laughs> this was my choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, great. Uh, so you have, a, you have a breakthrough with her and she starts like crying, but not understanding that what crying means. And she's like, just angry about leaking as you give her a big old green hug. <laughs> uh, and Avery's just like, ah, it's beautiful when they grow up. Uh, I'll, 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 while it's happening, I'll just make sure we, uh, we, we head west. All right. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Just, just head west. Yeah. We'll make sure we batten the hatches and uh, hit up the, uh, the old wizard master and everything. Okay. All right. Great. Cool. What they hurt. Doing? Hurt. Say west ho. <laughs> west ho. <laughs> <laughs> like, you heard her, folks. West ho. <laughs> it's very like it's 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 a it's funny because it reminds me of the whole like um, Captain Barbosa and Johnny Depp. We're like. Um, like hit the sails, hit the sails. Go like hoist the anchor, hoist the anchor. You go like, uh, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> like I am the captain. No, I'm the captain. <laughs> it's kind of what it's like, except uh, Avery is very submissive, and and um, it, yes, a goblin child, and and hurt is very dominant and and avery's yeah. just like yeah sure man whatever let's just do it i was just i was trying to help um <laughs> um great so you guys start to sail west into the evening um it's getting dark um because it took you guys forever to get here um <laughs> but you guys have the keystone with you which is big win big win uh very nice um um great uh, I'm going to say you guys are really, really tired. If you guys want to go to bed early tonight, you can. I mean, maybe we play like a, a, some cards or something first and then 
in bedtime or 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 uh, oh, Farkle. Farkle. Yeah, you guys yeah. want to play Farkle? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Angela, why don't you go ahead and roll Farkle set, see what happens. I know you want to do it. Okay. <laughs> she's, you have enough dice? She's a Farkle fiend. So we're going to sh shy along, right? How many do you need? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're just right. kind of headed in a basic westward direction. Because you were... Yeah, bring up at Shanong and then go to... Okay. Yeah. You're going to have to um, sail around the tip of the of the Southern Dynasty first. And then find yeah. out, like, you know, which, which uh, strait you're headed through. Whether you're, like, you know, splitting the difference between the tip, like, uh, uh, Fort... Uh, what is it? Fort, Chumara? Uh, oh, crap, I got caught here. Chumara. Fort or Shumara. Chum yeah, Fort Chumarat. Shumara. And the Sinsu Atoll, uh, which is kind of dangerous, uh, or or like and passing through that that uh that well wall a thing that you have there. Um you have to pick which like you know, which islands you're sailing in between. Uh, the the longer route going around those two and closer to the northern dynasty is a safer route, but if you want to cut time, you remember uh that the waters were more dangerous there. Um so, yeah. What'd you get? I, I can't yeah, hear you, Angela. Dice. I think you're. You got hot dice. I got hot dice. Ooh. Ooh. Are you go go until you want to stop? Um. Five. What's that? Five. So that's five. What's one through five? One through five. Uh, is five hundred. Five hundred. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five is five hundred. So you have six hundred hot dice. Six hundred hot dice. Hot dice. Hot dog. <laughs> Five, six. Another hot dice. Whoa. You're kidding me. Isn't that a thousand? Swear to God. Wait, one through Isn't that six? A thousand? Yeah, look at I, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's another yeah, thousand. One, two. So that's so that's sixteen hundred <laughs> hot dice. Sixteen hundred. Keep hot going. Dice. Um, I'm going to stop. I got an additional 300. That round. So 1,900. <laughs> 1,900. Amazing. So uh, Nakano rolls with finesse and perfection, and you sweep. Uh, you like rob the crew of a bunch of their their hard earned wages, and um, <laughs> you you uh, um, you gain f like 50 gold off a of hurt off of the money that she Whoa. has. Um, so you can go ahead and oh. add fifty gold onto your uh, onto your Thank character you sheet. Much. You get fifty more gold, and it hurts like damn it. Uh, um, <laughs> as she loses fifty gold to you, and a scoop because hurt has all of your gold, so it's your money. She no, just hurt gave me all the gold back. But oh, okay, it's fine. I'll, I'll give it. Uh, oh, okay. Um, well, I was trying to do it in a way where none of you lost money to another player character, but whatever. Um, it doesn't matter. Everyone, <laughs> I borrow money all the time. Yeah, so pretty much <laughs> you, 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 you okay. fully win, you win, uh, 40, like 50 gold from the, the party fund into your individual wow. fund. That's what happens. Pleasure okay. doing business. <laughs> As you sweep, uh, you also pretty much like... Basically, I mean, legally and fairly, because it was a game, like, robbed your crew of their wages for the next month because they also, lost a ton of money well, They had to a chance to win more they, money. That's I mean, true, that's they did, but they're just like, well, fuck. <laughs> they... Well, the cleric can't buy potions. <laughs> yeah, two hot dice with, with yeah, 1,900. That's, that's pretty Immediately, good. just yeah. on the first rolls, yeah. too. Amazing. One to five and then a one to six. I gave your dice some good luck. <laughs> they need them. Uh, yeah, don't forget, um, uh, uh, Nakano has the lucky feat, and we constantly forget to use that. Um, you can reroll oh, yeah. anything three times a day. Yeah, yeah, I can. Oh, I could have used my ties of chaos today. Too. Yeah, yeah. Like, I bet you were done. like, ah, we fuck this, this fucking yeah. <laughs> stone. You could have used it a bunch. Uh, well, no, because I was working on the stone before I went to sleep, and I had already used it. Right. So. No, no, I mean lifting it and trying to get it. To move yeah so, yeah uh, uh great so yeah without further ado you guys can bed down again um i was just sending to madoka oh, boss madoka to boss right? madoka yeah. yeah okay back at shylong uh know. heading to shylong status report of island okay you have quite a few more <laughs> words if you want to say something else <laughs> you want to give her like a timeline like when we might approach i mean when do you 
I would say days. right. Ooh, let me let me do some calculations. I think I think it's break out the old compass. Yeah, break out my old little. Yeah, let me see here. Ooh, let me just give me one second. I'm actually just gonna look at my thing. Uh, ships travel. Uh, 18, I'm sorry, 16 miles per day. And you are about, let's see. You're actually so not in the, sorry, what do you, what did you say? Oh, I was just saying he's physically measuring it. On oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Because I have scale and everything. I'm going to say, so it's, it's 16 miles per day per, per eight hour period. And the cool thing about ships is that they travel um, 24 hours. They never stop traveling, right, right. even when... Unless there's like a comet. comet. <laughs> Unless there's <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Great. Uh, so it, so technically you're traveling, uh, 48 miles a day and you have to go about 250 miles. Um, so it's going to take you a little over five days to get to Shylong. Uh, that is if you go the way the crow, that is it. That is if you go the most direct route, which is the most most dangerous, dangerous. which is the most dangerous. How much, how much much more would it take you went a safer route? It's going to take you... Hold on. Yeah. It's going to take you uh, um, um, about seven days. So about a, yeah. Okay. I mean, I feel like we're in no rush. I would, I would vote the safer route. Yeah. At this point, I feel like um, probably a better idea. Estimated time, five to eight days. Okay, um, that's the, uh, the 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 message you send to Boss Madoka. She's like, "That is good to know. Um, we will prepare for your arrival. Things are going better now that trading routes have been set up and peace is stable. Good luck." Anyone else want to do sending or good? Uh, should we tell the Baker's Dozen, or not the Baker, we're the Baker's Dozen, Arden we tell Flame. the Argent Flame that we killed two of the idols and helped yeah. them or something? Yeah. Like, if they yeah. have one, I'm sure it's giving them lots of problems, too. Or so just giving them info on how to, we figured out how to destroy the, the thing, yeah. right? Exactly, yeah. So today is the 30, 30 second still, yes. Just let me look. We'll see what 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 day they're on right now. I think it's like 34, 35. Okay, interesting, 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 interesting. Um, for for the sake of my sanity, uh, can we say that you send that message to them, um, uh, on the uh, they're on the third. Yeah. No, actually, no. They're on the uh, their their date. They're on the thirtieth. No, we're not. That's what I have. I don't here. think so. Maybe. That's what I have here. Okay, I'll double. Yeah. That's what I have here. Thirtieth. Uh, yeah. That's what I have here. Um. So yeah. Okay. So yeah. You. This is the thirty second. You send them a message. What does the message say? The Zem deck. Two idols destroyed. Made by Yats. Yitzglottel. Yitzglottel. <laughs> it's okay. I spelled it for you, right? Yes. Yeah, I have. Yeah, it. it's oh. just a pain in the ass to pronounce, yeah. <laughs> we got a bunch of Y's and X's in there probably, right? <laughs> some some umlauts and some circumflexes and Mistress Mistress, is that two or one? Mistress is one word. Of the sea. Salty mistress is what they're called. (coughs) Save a word there. 
Did you okay. sneeze and turn on the red lights? What happened? No, I turned on the firelight setting, and then she also sneezed. Uh, okay. has nothing to do with each other. Okay. <laughs> I saw my Alexa. Whenever I sneeze, it just turns on red lights. <laughs> It's like, hey, sneezing, you know what time that is. Business. Oh, there's a setting called fall. Well, that's... Have you have you have you Alex, uh, asked Alaska, yeah, Alexa to do sexy time yet, Sean? Sexy. Alexa, do sexy time. That's what it... Alexa. Lights sexy time. Turn the lights to sexy time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We set that up the last time we were there. Yeah. Blood red. Yeah. Very sexy. <laughs> there actually is a romance mode. Let's see. What is romance mode? Oh, God. We're, we're going off the rails. Scoop, what's your message? <laughs> so, um, I knew this. Salty, salty mistress. Mi salty mistress. Here's romance. Um, is mm. in contact with broker. I like the with broker you like the fall it does, they don't move though i like the oh, fire okay light. the false this wave one? you like this one it's glottal well like okay that's one word but yeah that's good no. Ooh, that's a lot of good information i assume noel you got that down not this one yes word for word i have no, zendak like... two idols destroyed made by it's please glottal. reply <laughs> Halting mistress <laughs> cool <laughs> Um, so here's the deal. You'll get a reply. I'll text you guys a reply um, because we play it. And the next time we play, I'll have Zemdek reply to you. TJ, uh, what's we up? are on the 32nd. And are you sure? Urgent Flame, yes, because the we were doing the, the, the table yeah. thing. And that was so on the 32nd. So are my dates messed to, up? I think so. Because the 32nd is when we did the table and then we're trying to do the 30, the mind on the 33rd. Oh, right. Because a couple days passed since the beginning of the last session. Uh, yes. Right. Right. Well, it's actually the same day. It's the same day. Cam, you can go ahead and text Zemdek if you like. If you want to go text Adam, you can text him right now. All right. Just gonna have it. Are we on the same day? Um, yeah. Noel, if you want to, can you, can you, te can you uh, text uh, Cameron word for word what he just said so he gets exactly sure. what he just said? And that way we What's been going on in your campaign here? that's been taking months? <laughs> There's been a lot. There's been a lot. <laughs> There's been a lot. They've been doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, they they spent a couple weeks on uh, on the same on the same days as well. In fact, they were they were behind you because remember you kind of shot ahead a little bit because you did oh, a lot yeah. of travel. So, because travel uh, shoots days ahead quite a bit. So that worked. Shot. Sean, put yeah. the microphone. Stop. Please stop that. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> You're killing me. Like Dave Chappelle. Every time I laugh, I slap my thigh with the microphone. <laughs> he just lets it drop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, cool. So we'll get a response from that in a moment. Um, in the meantime, uh, you guys play Farkle. Uh, Nakano wins a bunch of money off of the captain. And uh, you guys go to bed on the evening Yay. of the 32nd of High Lock. And you guys rest. And you sleep. At home, among the, the beds and the hammocks of your mobile home, your pond bringer, your free vessel. Uh, among the waves, among the salty seas, or as far as the eye can see, uh, and as the lamps up on the bow, the sun sets and you coast off into the darkness towards the west. And you drift off to sleep. Um, the first time in a while, well, it's, it's only been, it feels, it's only been like two days since the last time I were here, but it feels like weeks. Yeah. A scoop. In your mind while you sleep and in your dreams, you find yourself in inky black darkness. Uh, you can see yourself perfectly lit, but you don't see a source of light. Um, kind of abyssal. Do uh, you just see bl inky black as far as nothing could do, but you feel a floor beneath you, and you feel about like an inch of liquid 
of you standing in the floor and you can see there's a light source but you can't see where it is and you can see the light rippling off uh, reflecting off of the ripples as you move your feet and you shuffle among this liquid that is on a plane that seems to stretch into infinite in every direction but there's just blackness everywhere but there's liquid and you can see the rippling liquid on the surface that you're standing and you just hear like a sigh, almost as if the whole air around you just sighs. Ooh, 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 we should be doing this. Absolutely on this now. And there's just a sigh, almost as if the whole, like the whole atmosphere just gets thick and then dissipates. <sighs> and you hear, squelching and, and s squirming and, and slimy movement. And you fart to feel, you start, you fart to feel, you start to feel <laughs> from below you, the, the, the water start to drain or whatever this liquid start to drain and start to see what it is that you're actually standing upon as you realize it's a creep of fleshy musculature intertwined among itself, just that stretches for miles in every direction. And the liquid, this inky black material that appears to just set in small pools around the recesses of this muscle. I don't know if you guys have ever are ever familiar with um, Starcraft and the Zerg about how like they have this this creep. They have like this creep that's like it's like a terrain that's actually made out of musculature and like yeah. a bunch of like like it's a full terrain of that. It's just like vines and sinew and muscles and just of all just the ground is just as biological and alive and breathing and undulating and um and it's and you just are standing on this and you just feel the squelching and then right below you between it looks like there's a slit and this thing and you see as just a one big yellow eye with a with like a cat's eye opens and looks at you from this musculature as you move back and almost fall back and you just hear has been unmade state your Deal breaker. Can you clear your throat? <laughs> Incident mort. Beware, my wrath state your business. What is your business? To settle the debt. With you? you don't know. So, from what I'm getting at, this isn't a blip, right? Uh, as up to you, man. I mean, no, I've 
Well, I, I've clearly went through this this process. Oh, before. like uh, you've had like uh, visions with like you know voices with blip or something like that. You've had like visions before, or like uh, or like coming to Jesus and like photo negative Galadriel. Uh, no, the, you know, the, the oracle the, type shit. Sleep, the same thing. Yeah, yeah, but this is not that. This is whatever 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 entity is speaking to you right now. It doesn't feel like your deity. Um, what is the deal you speak of? It has been... Do not... Test... Us. I really wish I could comprehend languages. <laughs> As it feels like the whole brown ground around you for miles just exhales. Your desire. I just like wake up and in panic. Sorry, but... Uh, you're this is your nightmare. This is your dream right now. This is what's happening. Are you trying to wake yourself up? I mean, I, I'm like, it, I'm it's being like talked to from a person I generally can't understand. Yeah. And, um, He's asking you, like, you know, the deal's been stated. Do you desire power? Do not test my wrath. We didn't catch what the deal was, though, TJ. Was there a deal? It didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't go into specifics about what the deal was. It is talking. the deal. It is talking about the deal in the third person. It is talking about the deal almost as, as, as it, it was, it is an entity or a thing that has been discussed at a previous, like, and some other conversation. The 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 specifics of the deal are not what's being discussed here. It's just saying the deal. You don't know what the deal is. Who are you? At least. Right. We have many names. And none are true. That's not really what I asked. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this sassiest scoop. <laughs> Can I try to go somewhere in the stream? Uh, yeah, you want to start walking? You walk among the creepers. Your footsteps squelch and squish among the... The well, can you person. like show me who you are or something? I, you're not really giving me much besides like. <laughs> <laughs> we are here. We are all you see and much. You. Can I cast magic in this place? 
Uh, you can certainly try. What is it you're trying to cast? Just light. Yeah, you cast light, you produce a small light source. And nothing happened when I asked to see him? He gave you the answer, or they gave you an answer. They said what they said. Like, you also notice, like, the whole floor, the whole ground, like, for miles, this creep that spreads for miles, this, like, eyes and just fleshy Cronenberg floor uh, just uh, undulates and moves when it speaks. Okay. So I'm going to try to go up. And I'm going to take some possibly damage in the stream. I'm going to... Let's see. Trying to, like, fly up, you mean? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, well, you're, you're casting fly on yourself? I don't have fly. Okay, so you try I mean, to jump? Yeah, sure. Okay, you jump, and you land back down on the creek. Land back down? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm going Ow. to... I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to Misty Step as far up as possible, then instantly go into Curse of the um, Alep Transformation and just try to get a better view until, you know, I pretty much can't go any further and fall. Okay, cool. You teleport up. Um, uh, you, you, okay, so cool. So this is what happens. You teleport up, and as you rematerialize, you look down... And you see a larger version. You see, like you know, a, a, a wider perspective of the creep. Uh, and and again, it, like it goes off for miles and miles and miles, but there's no light. Like the what would be atmosphere and the, you know clouds and shit like that isn't. It's just black. It's just pure like Vanta black everywhere. All you can see is this horizon of creep in all directions. But as you do so, and as you misty step up, you find yourself looking down but also looking up and then you find yourself standing on the creep again and then you look up and you see the creep on the ceiling and then you look back down and you see the creep standing on it and then you look up and then you see Vanta again very MC Escher style oh god I'm just standing on it, no matter what. Mm. I can't do that. So is this a creep? It's it like, is. it's like, so it's like, it's, it's, it's a floor made out of musculature, flesh, and a bunch of other stuff intertwined that's undulating and moving. Like, I don't know how else to describe it other than like. I know, I, I fully understand what you're talking about. Yeah. I just. And like, there are I, like open eyes every once in a while, but it just goes on for as far as you can see in all directions. And you appear to be in some sort of like dreamscape scenario. Um. It does appear to like um uh the see you like feel like the 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 ground kind of like shudder and vibrate beneath you as like something like is breathing with the vibration. It's like do not test our patience. Make the deal up. Until you, until I know who you are, I'm praying. So be it. And a bunch of tentacles come up from the ground and grab, and grab your ankles and arms and try to pull you down into the creep as you like struggle and it pulls and it pulls and it pulls and it's past your chest now and it's past your shoulders and you reach up for air and try to breathe and it moves past your mouth and your eyes and you and you wake up in a cold sweat, exhausted, with almost slime on you 
and, your, and contusions on your wrists and ankles in the morn in the hold of the palm bringer. And that's where we're going to end our session. Oh. You want to do something, Sean? No, I just should have waited. I said I should have waited a minute to pee. <laughs> <laughs> and that's so as a scoop wakes up and says that he he's like, I'm not making this deal until I know more. So until then, I'm prey. And, and, the, and the creature said, so be it, pulled him into the creep. And then Scoop wakes up in a cold sweat with contusions around his wrists and his ankles from where these tentacles grabbed and pulled him down into the creep. Um, oh, so you have like actual physical injuries. From the dream, yeah. E, that's not a good sign. Um, and that's where we're going to end our session. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. That was a lot of fun. Or we destroyed idols. We're back home. We're on our way westward. We had creepy dreams and connections with creatures from the far beyond. Um, uh, thank you guys so much for walking. Walk, uh, yes, do go, do go, do some walking, please. It's good. It's good and, uh, <laughs> it's healthy. Um, but thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe out there, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you.